And so, you know, this is our invitation in every moment. And we can just investigate this and just notice, like, where are we aligned? Where are we aligned? And if you just feel in yourself in every moment, you can just notice very clearly where you're aligned. You know, if you walk in a room and you begin to feel tense and tight, and if you feel like you're up in your head and you're calculating what you're going to say next, how it's going to come out, how you're being perceived, if we're busy, you know, judging everyone, you know, chances are then we're in that egoic mind. But if we walk into a room and we see beauty, if we see divinity, if we see wonder and openness, And then we know we're in our hearts. Because it inherently feels good in our heart. It feels good to be ourselves. And so we can use, <clears throat> we can use our emotions, our feeling, like our feeling nervous system as a gauge, as a kind of a barometer to know where we're at. And we can just notice, how are we feeling right now? Are there places within us that we need to open? Are there places where we can let go? Are, are there places within us that are holding tight and gripping and trying to defend? And we can begin to question these places. You know, for a long time, any time I walked in the room with my father, you know, I'd get tense and I'd get tight inside, like there was about to be some great war between me and him. <laughs> and then at some point along my journey, I realized <laughs> that there was no war, despite the war that was, that was going on in my mind. It's a funny thing to be 13 years old and you know, create a war with your parents because developmentally that's what you're supposed to do so that you can individuate from them and become individuals. But when you're 40 years old and you're still holding on to that fight with them, you know, maybe it's time to let that go. Maybe it's time to let it go. And so we can just play this game throughout our life. We just notice whenever we're tight and tense, that means there's something within us that we need to investigate. There's something we can look into. And we can just ask ourselves, do I need to defend myself from what's here? Do I need to create a wall between me and life? Do I need to create a wall between me and my partner? I remember I went uh, to visit a friend once, and my friend wasn't home, but somebody else was at the house. And I, I walked in, and I was kind of making some racket, you know, looking for my, my buddy, and someone came out, and they said, can you please quiet down? And inwardly, I felt this, this tension inside. How dare you ask me to quiet down? <laughs> and then I noticed my mind started creating the story about how this person was wrong and how I deserved to whatever, speak loudly. And I noticed this tension in my body. And I realized I had made myself right and this person wrong. And as a result, I wasn't able to see them. I wasn't able to see their beauty and their divinity and experience a sense of oneness and unity with them. But when we're awake, we're awake to what's happening. We're awake to reality. We're awake to what's going on within us. We realize it's too painful to have walls between us and life. It's too painful. It 
creates a sense of hell inside. Anytime we have, we have walls, it creates a sense of hell. You know, one of the things that happens when we, when we fall in love with someone is we allow all of our walls to drop. And we walk around in this blissful state of openness and unity. And we can live in that state. We can live in this place of unity and oneness with all of life. If we are willing to live in a way that's undefended. If we just look at it, it's a crazy thing to think we need to defend ourselves from anyone. The majority of our life, we live in a way that's totally safe. There are very few moments in life when we are attacked. When we walk around living with these walls like someone's coming after us all the time. One of the things that happens when we have a spiritual awakening is we experience the relief of all these walls falling down, all these walls disappearing. And we realize that there is so much love in this world, so much beauty, so much divinity everywhere. We begin to see that all of life is divine. Even the crazy, terrible things that we thought were so bad and so wrong. We realize that, oh yes, this is actually, this is actually God too coming to us.